Wanda, welcome home. Vision residents. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. We got a brand new series of Marvel trailers during the Super Bowl. And now that the Super Bowl is over, ladies and gentlemen, no more football. We got to get back to focusing on Marvel, all the things they're doing, their movies, and now they've got their TV shows. This video is about things you might have missed in the WandaVision trailer, because you know how much we love doing finding clues in trailers. And if you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out the Life Game Review channel as well. That's my smaller channel where I'm doing a little bit more different content. And also follow my podcast. And if you have comments, questions, concerns you want to talk to me about, or stories, hit me up on Instagram. So this trailer was really, really kind of non-linear. It didn't stay in what's going to happen from point A to point B. They did a lot of jumping around. I'm, a, I'm assuming this is going to be a timeline shift. And this trailer with Scarlet Witch kind of gave us a nod to a lot of the things that we've seen in the comments. One thing I noticed was Marvel is pushing the blue logo. And the only thing that that means is that they're just trying to push their streaming service with the color scheme is going to be blue versus the traditional red Marvel logo that we're so used to. And did you guys check out that soundtrack in the trailer? If you guys can remember, that was from the Winter Soldier, the theme song. And Winter Soldier is one of my favorite Captain America movies. I mean, one of the best movies I feel like Marvel has done. So I'm liking where they're going with incorporating some of those same individuals that helped put that together into the WandaVision story and some of the other properties that they're going to be doing. A lot of what you're going to see from this story is going to be Wanda and the alternate universe and Marvel has done so well about making these alternate universes and it's going to be done through Wanda's perspective. And this particular trailer, you notice it kind of starts out in the 50s in black and white. Wanda pops in there in color. Then she's kind of doing this bendy thingy like she's in Inception. That's basically how I guess she gets sucked into this alternate universe. Then she pops out in black and white. You see her face on the TV. And then you kind of see her looking at Vision like, bruh, didn't you die? I, th I, thought, I thought I seen you die. And so she's kind of giving him that look. And I guess that might be when she finally realizes when you see her in this TV that she's in an alternate universe. When she gets into this universe, she's going to be basically thrown into this reality and she's going to live out her life with vision. Starts out with her looking like she's married. Then she gets pregnant with the mutant twins. Then she shifts. She shifts from time frame to time frame from 70s, 80s and 90s as she has the babies and they're just kind of showing you what it's gonna look like when everything comes to fruition from her getting married through having the kids and what it's gonna be like with these kids. Both of these, th this entire story looks like it's taking a lot of inspiration from two comic runs. For, first one is Tim King's vision story and the other one, the white vision when he was with the Avengers. Looks like it's gonna take a lot of inspiration from both of those stories. There is one section when you see Wanda where she's basically in the 70s where she looks confused. I think that that is pretty much her being a little nervous that things are happening around her and it all deals with the babies that are inside of her displaying their mutant powers if you can believe that can you guys imagine what it would be like if you your wives were pregnant or you as a woman is pregnant and whatever's in you is creating things around you warping reality that would just be pure nuts then you see it shifts to the 80s where it looks like she's pr pretty much had her babies and you see that pacifier just floating above right there by Vision's pants, the twins displaying their powers and they're both looking at each other like, what in the hell have we created? We have created beings that are not of this earth that can do unruly things. Then you see a shift goes into the 90s and it looks as though she's kind of looking at her kids like, what did you do? Bruh, what did y'all just do? And I think that that one is when the kids are might be a little older, maybe seven, eight or nine or something to that effect. Because look at that refrigerator and you can see that they've got artwork from, I guess, school or wherever they're going. I wonder, will they put these kids 
into Professor Xavier's school because this is a great story that they can tie in the X-Men. And I think that this is how they will be bringing in the X-Men through the WandaVision story and ultimately bringing them on the big screen. Then we finally see her in her traditional X-Men Scarlet Witch costume, but I don't think this is anything we need to get excited about, that they're gonna be having her wear a lot. I think this is just more her playing dress up at some kind of a party or just having fun with the kids, maybe Halloween. And then the one thing that I know they're gonna be doing with this story, this is definitely gonna be a tie-in to Doctor Strange 2. He's gonna be doing some alternate universe things and Wanda is gonna be in that story. And I'm hearing rumblings that X-Men are gonna be in that story as well. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my first Marvel review of the year, 2020. I can't wait to see all the things we're gonna do this year and I will be doing more of these videos. So follow me, leave me all your comments about what you think about this particular trailer. Is there something that I missed that you caught? And let me know what else you guys are doing with Marvel so I can keep bringing you this content. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life game. And until that next sexy as hell Marvel review, I'll see you.